Dr. Daisaku Ikeda, President Sokagakai International says his faith is placed in our world's young people, each of whom embodies hope and the possibility of a better future. This optimism for humanity is the basis of his 35th peace proposal to the United Nations. Dr. Ikeda shares his conviction that young people and their energetic engagement represent the solution to the global challenge we face. They hold the key to achieving the goals set by the United Nations towards 2030. The founding presidents of the Soka Gakkai stood for the vision of a secure world, free of discrimination and exploitation, which resonates strongly with the United Nations appeal to the international community to create a world in which no one will be left behind. With special focus on youth, Dr. Rikeda offers thoughts on building the kind of inclusive, just and peaceful societies envisaged in the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. Creating solidarity towards respectful coexistence, the ability to solve problems is not something reserved for special people. It is a path that opens before any of us when we face reality head-on. Our capacity to overcome difficulties is unleashed as we turn anguish and concern into determination and action. Young people are identified as critical agents of change, central to creating solidarity towards respectful coexistence. Sharing the example of a team of refugees who participated for the first time in the 2016 Olympic Games, Dr. Ikeda states, their words convey the fact that the true essence of youth is not to be found in the past nor in the future, but rather in the desire to do something for the benefit of other people living with us in the present moment. Human rights education can be the driving force towards a pluralist and inclusive society if the 1.8 billion people between the age of 10 and 24 can come to uphold and protect the core values of human rights rather than resorting to conflict and violence. Education for global citizenship can encourage people to consider global issues in terms of their own lives especially enabling young people to bring forth their full potential, increasing the momentum for global change. In school, I was always in the bottom five of my class academically. Uh, I was also full of anger all the time. Today, I have completely been able to transform my life. Uh, I have two masters in peace and education, both my weakest areas of life. And I have uh, become a peace educator today. I could analyze how much uh, our students taught the values of peace, justice, gender equality, human rights and so on. Everything in the universe embodies the law of cause and effect. However, this is not a doctrine of passive acceptance or resignation. Everything in our lives, far from being immovably determined, can be transformed for the better through our actions in this moment. The Buddhist uh, view of the law of cause and effect is that when one person makes a determination and takes action to transform his or her life, then he creates a ripple effect in his environment. So the law of cause and effect starts from one person, but it reaches out to so many others. The Mahayana Buddhist term Bodhisattva means to be motivated by the spirit of empathy to respond to grave social crisis wherever you are and whether or not you are directly impacted. So the Buddhist view about uh, the harsh realities of society is not to run away from them, but to really challenge them head on and always to tell oneself that that is the time when they can really make the maximum impact. So as long as we are determined to take action, we are determined to transform the world, even if we take uh, minute action which we feel may not be able to create a huge change in the environment, but as long as everyone is doing that, collectively it will help us to achieve the SDGs. The spirit of the Bodhisattva has sustained the SGI's efforts as a faith-based organization that supports the UN and works for the resolution of global challenges. Though everyone has a spirit of Bodhisattva, but it is the youth who can really catalyze it. So if poverty rules, peace cannot exist. So that's the point when I started working and applying and get into uh, 
you know, a NGO which is working for tribal rights in Odisha. Being a researcher as my profession, I have also started writing because if we really wanted to change something uh, in terms of policies, then we should really demonstrate that particular work in the ground into a piece of paper. State of sanitation in India is really poor. I was involved in a project where uh, I could develop a toilet system for rural India which treats the fecal matter at the source itself. This project in fact won the first prize for the most innovative and equitable solutions. So my determination is that by 2030 everybody has an access to equitable sanitation so that the health of water bodies and human beings is secured for the future. Youth are the ones whose life is pure and they are the ones uh, who are uh, filled with the spirit of uh, challenging and transforming. Youth are the you know, only uh, persons who can really read the misery of the world. To enable wide engagement and use technology to connect people across the world, the Mapting app was launched by the UN, SGI and the Earth Charter International in November 2016. It aims to engage youth and inspire users to take action and share solutions. The second challenge Dr. Ikeda addresses is to create societies in which division and inequality are overcome. This can be achieved by working towards a just society. To categorize and discriminate against individuals is wrong. It is a source of division that undermines society as a whole. With the rapid advance of globalization, there has been a 40% increase in the number of migrants since the start of the 21st century. The increasing tendency to prioritize market-based economic rationality above all else leaves little consideration for the well-being of the people. The Buddhist view of the middle way is, first of all, to see that how one's actions are really impacting the life of others. And if we are able to see that every time, then we will always be on the correct path in our life. So President Ikeda in his peace proposal is actually emphasizing that whatever we do in terms of Niti, at the center of it should be Nyaya. At the center of it should be the happiness of the people. Xenophobia and hate speech divide the world into the binary of us and them. With stagnation of the global economy, xenophobic impulses have strengthened. He further affirms that a society that truly upholds the rights of all people would only be possible if women's rights were given explicit recognition. And we need to guide the youth to see the world from the eyes of others. We need to guide the youth for them to be able to discover and clarify what needs to be done in order to transform the situation which exists in the society today. We found that a lot of people were in alcoholism, there were rape happening and women were treated very badly. So what we did was we designed a project, 200 boys got with us and out of that 20 were the ones who said we will dedicate ourselves for this project. And we worked along with them for six months and there was so much change in the whole system of Kadar that there was violence reduced to almost nil in a particular area. These boys were educating others and they were, they were completely transformed. And these 20 boys, we got them into a profession also and they started working and earning. They all of them got married without any dowry. Dr. Rikeda reiterates the inextricable link between peace and gender equality and that the participation of women enhances the likelihood of the success and durability of peace processes. He shares the Buddhist principle that all people possess an incomparable inner worth. He believes the answer is strong connections between people. The magnetic field of friendship can enable the functioning of an inner compass when we have lost a sense of direction and help us right society when it seems to be veering off course. Friendship among youth will powerfully turn back the solid currents of divisiveness, disrupt the chain reactions of hatred and violence, and give birth to a vibrant culture of peace based on profound respect for diversity. Dr. Ikeda asserts the urgent need for a peaceful society to confront the third challenge of enhancing capacities of communities to meet and respond positively to trying circumstances. Among these, Dr. Ikeda raises concern over the growing threat of nuclear weapons. He urges leaders 
to engage in earnest discussions and work towards an easing of tensions. Dr. Ikeda quotes philosopher Hannah Arendt, This is only possible when there is trust in people. The Lotus Sutra states, not to avert our eyes from the realities that surround us, but to confront them head on. By clearly understanding the nature of our circumstances, we can transform ourselves just as we are. Dr. Ikeda therefore calls for the peace that is realized when people come together across all differences in a shared commitment to the dignity of life. For young people, the vision of the SDGs to leave no one behind is not something to be achieved in a distant place. They point to the present realities of living together on this one planet with our fellow human beings. This time, this peace proposal already has a clear vision for humanity, has a vision for all eternity, for the peace of the land. And this kind of awakening amongst the youth will help the youth to really build a solidarity which will usher in this new era of hope, encouragement and empowerment in the society. The SGI, with youth at the center of our movement, will further strive to expand the solidarity of people united in the cause of building a culture of human rights. Sounding the bell of hope for humanity, we will continue to work towards creating a society where no one is left behind.